Apathia said in a statement Monday that he will check into rehab for an alcohol problem and will miss the entire postseason. And the Yankees are standing right by him. I'm probably more proud of the inner strength that he showed yesterday than any day that I've had him as a manager. And uh, he did the right thing. It's a very courageous thing to do. Um, you know, we play for CeCe now. And... Uh, you know, CeCe's gone to the map for us many, many times. And uh, I know me personally and a lot of us in here, we wouldn't have a ring if it wasn't for CeCe. So now we go to the map for him. Stephen, how surprised were you about Sabathia entering rehab right now? I was stunned, to be quite honest with you. But the first order of business I want to say, and I, I don't, this is not about CeCe. Mm -hmm. I don't want to come across as insensitive, but I can't stand when I see statements like A-Rod just made, we play for CC now. Because, see, if you go out tonight against the Houston Astros and you strike out four times, what am I supposed to think of you at that moment in time? Sim says, it's, and by the way, that has high possibility. It has high yeah. possibility <laughs> against this guy, uh, Keichel. I mean, come mm -hmm. on, A-Rod. I, I respect where he's coming from. But now they're going to watch you. And if you stick up the joint, did you play for CC then? It's just, uh, uh. It's, it's just vintage A-Rod. Uh, just drives me crazy when he do that, because I'm praying he don't strike out. You see what I'm saying? Anyway, back to CC. Um, I, was sh I was shocked because of the timing. Yeah. I was shocked because the playoffs are about to begin, mm -hmm. and my Yankees are in the postseason. And he went from obviously not expected to play tonight, but if they win the night and they go up against the Royals um, and the ALDS, the likelihood is that he would have been able to participate in that. Having said all of that, I applaud his decision. Um, he did the right thing for himself. He did the right thing for his family. Um, and I'm not an expert on alcoholism, mm -hmm. okay? My thing is what I've been associated with in terms of people and my family, friends, etc. they've had drug issues, mm -hmm. not alcohol issues. Um, thank God not my immediate family, but you know what I'm saying. I think that when it comes to CC. It was stunning, but I applaud him. And more importantly than anything else, you know, you support him. Yeah. CeCe's a good man. I've known CeCe for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're not friends or anything like that. I've hung out with him on, on, a, on a few occasions, um, you know, because everybody come through 4040. And I want to, you know, that's, that's my spot. I love them brothers over there. And obviously he's been over there because Jay-Z and... You know, Juan Perez and all of these guys, they're incredible friends and supporters of his as well. They should be. Um, this is a real difficult time for him to reach the conclusion that he needed to check himself into there. Now, that is not something to be taken lightheartedly. Mm -hmm. He is, regardless of his affable personality, the fact that he's personable and he can talk to anybody, uh, that he's kind, that he's great, he's a great person, he's a high-end competitor, he's a champion, he's a Cy Young Award winner, he's all of these things. He's one of the best people you can find in professional sports, just as a, a great and decent human being. Yep. And he's a high-end competitor. There is no way on earth that he would have gone into Joe Girardi's office and said, I need help. At this moment in time, unless he felt that he had hit rock bottom yep. and he was a detriment to the team, yep. himself, and his family. So that says to me that things must have gotten really, really bad in order for him to get to this point. And I think this is one of those times where, you know, as, as folks in the media, whatever, we need to step back and as opposed to being judgmental or you know, trying to cast dispersions or doing anything else. We need to step back, touch our humanity, and recognize this man needs all the support in the world that he can get from all of us. And our prayers are with him and his family. Amen to that. Here's why this was so shocking to me. I first met CC 11 years ago. We've had him on the show numbers of times. And from what I know about baseball, he is as popular and as highly respected as any player in the entire sport. Now that's a mouthful I just said. Mm -hmm. As popular and respected as any player. Now obviously 
alcohol will, will pick on anybody. You know, that if, if you've got the, the, the bad gene in you, you, you can become alcoholic like that. We did see the one incident that surprised us, and we spoke about it on the show back in Toronto, mid-August, remember, when he had the, the shouting match outside the nightclub that inspired a fight as they drove away, some in big Toronto, brawl, yeah. Toronto. And I, but even then, I thought, eh, it's just happened to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. I'd never heard anything about CC having issues with alcohol before. So the timing of this, as you say, is, is so shocking because, to your point, the circumstance had to be absolutely dire. It, it had, something had to happen. There had to be one other incident we don't know about. I'm just speculating here, but something had to bring it to, to uh, such a boil that he finally said, I, I can't go on anymore. And on the eve of the playoffs, they, they make this announcement. Now, it's possible that they waited a couple of days to make the announcement, hoping that it would help inspire the A-Rods in your clubhouse. I, I don't know, because it's just an odd timing of this, because y you could also argue, well, Gee, could, could CC have just waited a few days until at least they, they got past the wild card game and then see what would happen in the divisional round? I, I don't have any idea because we don't know enough about it. But the timing is shocking because of the figure involved in this. There's no way CC Sabathia would have picked this time yeah. to make this decision unless the straits were dire. There is no way on earth he would do that. And I've been around him, and let's be clear about something here. Never once have I seen him inebriated. Yeah. Never once. Every time I've seen him in public, at a public event, or anywhere else, he has always, always been CC. So it's very, very shocking to learn that he even has a problem, yeah. to be quite honest. That's correct. That's how I feel. But, but I do know that he is legitimately a very very good man a good brother good family man etc and again our hearts are with him and our prayers are with him and his family absolutely so bottom line how do you think or will this at all impact your team going forward i don't think that it's going to have an impact on the yankees one way or the other they're either going to show up and play well because they lost six of their last seven to end the season they did um they're either going to show up and play well or they're not i don't want I, I know this much i don't want to hear cc as an excuse for losing i can promise you that um the houston astros are lethal Keiko can ball he's he's pit 16 scoreless innings against the yankees in his last two meetings got an era a little over one he has dominated the yankees i am very very concerned you should about be. about him but the yankees are one of the leading home run hitting teams okay and even though the astros are as well the astros also strike out more than practically anybody the yankees gonna win this game tonight they better handle their business and cc had by his standards an off year is that yes, fair to say era era over four yeah yes, he he's did. been a little better lately yes. but yeah i don't know worse. that he would have worse yeah but he was getting better mm -hmm. yeah we wish him and his beautiful family the best. They also do a lot in the community. I want to point that out through their yes, pitch foundation as well. It's on tonight. Yanks, we'll see what happens. But meanwhile, joining us now, a special guest. We all know him as Peanut Tillman. Charles Tillman in the house looking fresh. I don't well, know. I'm just, You're I'm giving just, these I'm, guys a little run for their money right listen, now, Listen, man, I'm just, I'm just thankful the brother's not in Chicago, no, personally. That's just me. Undefeated. That's right. It's nice, right? You know, he misses Jay Cutler. Oh, he misses Jay Cutler. I'm lying. I'm lying at man. How are you? I'm lying at man. What's up?